This morning I want to demo a debugging tool I've been working on for Racket Programs. Um, it's called dbg. Um, and the way it works is it provides a server that you run within your application. And then it also provides a client for that server and on top of that client, a uh, user interface. Um, and so to use it, you basically just require it and then run the server. Uh, and that starts a TCP server on localhost port 9011 by default, but you can change that. Um, and then you can connect to that server uh, and see different types of information uh, pertaining to the running pro process. Um, and so here I have my cha cha running. Uh, if I go to local my cha cha, it's running over here. Um, and so I can come in here into uh, let's see the entry point of my app um, and i'm actually already uh, requiring the server and running it um, and so i can just go ahead and run raco dbg um, and that starts up this little gui uh, and the first thing i get is some information about the vm um, so it's running on mac os 10 um, you, you know, on x86-64 and uh, Racket version 8208. Um, I can see information about garbage collections, um, and we'll come back to this in a second. I can see um, the sort of total memory usage by uh, data type. Uh, I can filter things down if I need to. Um, and I can record performance profiles. Uh, and so let me just, I'm gonna use a tool called Vegeta to, uh, well, it's a load testing tool, so I'm gonna use it to attack my server. Um, and so I'm gonna start recording and then, uh, you know, hit my server with 10 requests a second for five seconds. Okay, and while that's running, we can see the, the G, GC charts are updating. Uh, and so we can see the total memory use and then the GC pauses. You can see the longest GC pause over this period was seven milliseconds uh, and the memory usage and so on. We would also see major GCs if they happened. Um, and yeah, we can reload the, um, sort of the memory table uh, and stop recording. And so now if I double click the recording, you can see where most of the time is being spent. It looks like I didn't really get a very useful, uh, well, I guess we spent a lot of time in, <laughs> in Redis, but uh, if we start from here, we can, see a bunch of time gets spent in home.racket and then if we zoom into home.racket um, that spends some of its time in render FAQ and then some of its time calling the Fibonacci function. Um, and so the profiler observed about 804 milliseconds spent in um, home.racket. Um, so I can come back here and remove the slow bits that are calling the Fibonacci function and so my, my server is automatically restarted now, uh, which also means the client is now disconnected. So if I try to start a recording now, it says like, okay, it's not connected, but I can come in here and reconnect to it. Uh, and now I can start another recording and attack the server again. Uh, give it five seconds and stop. And now take another look at it. Um, And let's see, where was that entry point? Yeah, so we can see the, the home page no longer shows up on the profile, basically. Um, and we can also see that in the results where, you know, we're, we're spending about half the time now um, serving these requests, except at the high end. Um, and yeah, aside from the tree map view, you can also just look at it, the um, sort of regular profile lib. Uh, 
textual output um, and you can export and import uh, profiles and so on um, so yeah there's still there's still a ton of could be done here we could um, you know add a way to grab logs we could uh, add a way to map which um, values are reachable um, and where they're reachable from so you could you could imagine diving into uh, these pairs to see what's uh, where where they're being retained from to debug memory issues. Um, in fact, here I know this is from the profiler, so if I reload now, those will all be gone. Um, but yeah, um, this seems promising so far. So I hope this was interesting to you.